As you spend more time working with Excel, you're going to find yourself spending much of your time working with tables of data. In doing so, sorting data is one of the most fundamental skills to have. In this lesson, we're going to explore some ways to sort from quick one-button sorts to a more detailed multi-column sort. So now we should still be in our Getting Started workbook on the Sorting tab, and we want to make sure that we're on that data menu, so click that if it's not selected. And what you can do here is look over about two thirds over on the ribbon, you have a sort and filter group. And we're gonna deal with these sort buttons right here, the quick sort buttons and the custom. Well, let's go ahead and scroll down to our area. You'll see in the main side of this worksheet, I have a big table with bakery sales from Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens. And before we get into that, I'm gonna move over to the right here and just go over a couple little basics that'll help us when we're sorted. So right now I have a table of data. And in general, Excel thinks of a table as anything surrounded by blank columns and blank rows. Okay, so I want to show you a couple things. If I want to sort by the item, I click anywhere in that cell, and then I click the A to Z, and that will sort from lowest to highest, or alphabetically if I'm on a column that has words. So click that. If I click the Z to A, it sorts in reverse order. Now if I go over to the sales column, that also lets me sort lowest to highest or highest to lowest. And let me go over to the order column and I'll sort that again. One thing I have to show you is when you're using sort with Excel, you either just have one cell selected and that will correspond to the column you want to sort or the entire table. Okay, watch what happens if I just highlight the sales column and do a sort. Okay, Excel gives me a warning because it says, hey, it looks like you're in an entire table. Did you mean to just sort this column you're on? Or did you want to sort the entire table? Most of the time we'll expand the selection. But let me just show you what happens if you don't. Excel just sorted that column and nothing else. So it didn't bring that whole row along with it when it sorted. I'm going to do Control Z just to undo that. So again, it's very important when you're going to sort, just click on one cell in the table or the entire table. So now we're back on our main table. So let's just say that we want to sort this table by items. Okay, so again, I can click anywhere in this table as long as I'm in the item column. And when I click A to Z, it'll sort it alphabetically and Z to A in reverse. That's kind of interesting, but it doesn't really help us figure anything out. What if we sorted by revenue? That's how much money we made every day. I'll click A to Z, and that's lowest to highest, and then I'll go Z to A. So the most items sold were cakes in the Manhattan store on Sunday, March 10th. That's useful, but all the stores are kind of mixed in together and the dates are all over the place. I can't really see any kind of pattern here or anything. Well, here's where we have to get away from just the quick one button sort and go to the custom sort dialog box. I'll go ahead and click that. Now this box is a little different. And the first thing I want to talk about is over on the right where it says my data has headers. If that's checked, you should see column headers in your sort by box. This corresponds to revenue. Okay, if I uncheck that, then it will actually include those column headers in the sort. Most of the time you don't want to do that. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and check that my data has headers again. And I want to sort by location first. And I want that to go Z to A. I can set sort cells on cell values. We'll talk about one or two of these other options in a minute. And then Z to A. Now, if I want to sort on something else beyond location, maybe I want to do revenue. So I can click on add level. And this dialog box says sort by location. Then I can choose the next level, then by revenue. And that's going to be instead of smallest to largest, I'm going to show largest to smallest. And when I click OK there, well, that's pretty good. Now all the stores are sorted by location first. And then they're sorted by revenue. So I see top to bottom what my queen store did in this week. That's pretty good, but what if I want to add another level? What I want to, what if I want to sort it by day also? Well, I can go back up to my custom dialog box, and here I'll go down to sort by revenue. Then I want to add day. Let's add a level, and then I'll sort by day. 
and oldest to newest is fine. That really didn't change anything. Uh, my days are still kind of mixed up. They're not in the right order. Um, so let's see what happened. Click that sort custom dialog box again. And you see it's going to execute each one of these sort lines in order. So we said first sort by location, then by revenue, and then by day. We really want day to be after location. So here's the neat thing. Instead of deleting those rows off and redoing them, I can click on that last row. And then I've got some buttons here. I can move up or move down. So I'm going to move that day up one. And now it's going to sort by location, then day, then revenue. Let's click OK. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now we've got the queen store. We got each day sorted. And then within each, within each day, we have the revenue from largest to smallest. So we see on Tuesday, we sold the most cakes. On Wednesday, we sold the most cakes. On Thursday, we sold the most cakes. Kind of getting a pattern here. So that's about all there is to the, the quick sort buttons and the custom sort. But I do want to show you one other thing here. Let me click on my order and sort that. And you'll see some of my items are colored. I just wanted to show you guys how Excel sorts by color. So I'll go ahead and click sort. And now here, instead of a value, I can go over to my items and I want to sort by cell color. Okay, this is a little tricky. There's really no order with color. So basically you're just going to tell Excel which color you want to be on top. Let's do the burnt orange first. Then if I add a level, I have to do the same thing. I have to do item, cell color, and then I'll go green and do one more. Item, color, and blue. And click OK. So now you see Excel sorted that list by color and I put them up there. Kind of a neat feature. Personally, I don't really ever use this and I don't recommend it. Anytime you're going to color a cell, it'll usually correspond to a value in another column. And it's better just to sort that column outright. The last thing I want to tell you about sorting is you might have seen it a little bit, but I've got an order column here. Now, I typically add an order column to every table I work with. And it's just a sequential number, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the last row. And the reason I do it is we've done a bunch of sorting here today, and I don't remember what order these things were in before we started. So if I have that order column put in place before I ever start doing sorting or filtering, then I can always come back to the order column and sort it. My table's in the original order that I sorted it on. All right, well, that's it for sorting.